this is an if you travel a lot if you leave the country if you go to europe if you go to jamaica and you come back um whenever you leave the country when you come back you have to come through customs right or depending on if you go to um if you go to europe right so a lot of times either you're traveling to europe but especially when you're coming back to the u.s here's what they here's what the customs are doing customs are essentially in their targeting they are right but randomly and they said oh it only affects uh less than one percent just under one percent of travelers yeah but there's millions and millions of travelers thousands of people traveling every day all day so the chances of you getting your device so what they'll do is they'll plug it in to this cell bright device so each and every international airport has one of these devices check this out and I'll show you what they do. And here's why you're going to need a Graphene OS phone. Cellbrite. Let's go to news. Okay, so check this out. So Cellbrite. Cellbrite is a company. What they do is they sell a device. It's about the size of a mini PC, right? It's like probably four inches by five inches. And it's probably a couple inches thick. Each international airport, each customs department in each international airport has a cell bright device. Each and every police department has a cell bright device. Cell bright is a company. They sell this product. What it does is you can plug a phone, iPhone, Android. I think they do iPads too and tablets and stuff. So if your device is running Android and or an iOS version, you can plug a phone into this cell bright device and it pulls it pulls data from your device it pulls everything uh everything that's on your storage meaning pictures messages phone logs um files that you have on there it'll it'll have get access to your emails everything that's on your phone cell bright can pull this info and somebody snuck this is very clever it's something i would do somebody there was a cell bright microsoft teams call you know how a big company they got people all around the country if you work remotely you know you have a teams call whether it's on zoom or microsoft that you join right so somebody joined a cell bright teams call meeting and they were discussing their newest update to their Cellbrite machine and how effective it is on certain devices, right? So this person snuck a screenshot while on a internal meeting with Cellbrite inside the Cellbrite company. And they basically took a screenshot of devices and their operating systems and how effective it is uh let's see here how effective it is with each operating system now the uh are you kidding me the one operating system it could not pull info from is the graphene os pixel 10 the graphene or excuse me a, a excuse me a graphene os device that's what i meant to say you can flash it on any any pixel when you plug it in, the Cellbrite machine can't pull any data from. Now, that's why it's so imperative. If you're going to be traveling, if you travel international, when you come back, if I'm if I travel today, I'm not even taking my personal device. I'm taking a Graphene OS Pixel, and I'll just deal with you know because. Look, Graphene OS, you can customize it. You can actually have Android apps on your device. They just put it in a sandbox, meaning like, so what's an app that I use that I couldn't travel without? Um, let's say a health app, right? So I want to keep track of my health and or my sleep. Uh, but I don't, you know the first thing you think of well i don't want to leave my main device at home if i just take a graphene os i'm going to lose out on some of my apps that i depend on and i check on every day right well the cool thing with graphene os 
you can st even though it ha it's stripped of all of its google services and it does not communicate to to and from google servers it puts you can still download android apps it just puts it in a sandbox in a separate part of the operating system meaning you can still access that data and it can still track your sleep it just prevents puts it in a sandbox it puts like a layer of security around each individual app now when they when you plug it in to that cellbrite machine it does not pull any info from that uh let me pull this up here because this is pretty crazy story um check this out leaker reveals which pixels are vulnerable to cellbrite phone hacking so look at this. Can y'all see that? Let me move this up over here. And we'll do the we'll do the drawing here in, in just a minute. But I, I wanted to get to this. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. It's kind of blurry. But what it's telling you is the make and the model on the left side. So the on the left side are the pixels, and I think it's like Pixel Nine, Pixel Eight, Pixel Seven, and Pixel Six series. And it says if it can pull data, BFU is before um before unlock and afu is after unlock so the most secure your device is ever going to be is right after you reboot it so you know uh in android devices so like on my samsung if you ever get pulled over by the police if you ever get uh questioned by authorities and let's say because a lot of a lot of people don't have a graphene device if all if you get pulled over by the police or questioned by authorities the very first thing you do when they say, hey, come here for a second, you know, or, they, or, or if they pull you over on the side of the road, the first thing you do is reboot your phone. So force reboot your phone. So you'll see a screen like this. Let me pull this up. So, you know, you know, when you go to your boot screen, when you press down the power button or you swipe down on it and you go to the power button on pixels, like this watch you swipe down swipe down swipe down again in that little power button up there that's your reboot menu touch that the first thing I'm doing is I'm hitting restart just restart your phone that's when it's the most secure and then you either have to put in your passcode or your pattern so depending on if your phone ha has already been unlocked meaning the first unlock after a reboot it's a little easier to pull data from even if your device is is on but the screen is off if you've already restarted it and unlocked it is first unlock it's a little easier to pull data it's it's the hardest to pull data if you reboot it and you just get to that immediate lock screen they can still pull a little bit of data off of there but they can pull a lot more data off of there if you've already restarted it and you've unlocked it right this chart says which pick and I'll, I'll probably i'll probably link this in the description box below after the video come back and i didn't think of this video i, I didn't think of this uh, uh until right now so i didn't have it ready but i'm gonna um post a link to this article and you can see on the chart what pixel and or a samsung device uh i believe it has samsung does it have apple <clears throat> let's see android os android os android os graphene graphene so it just has Android or graphene. Now, the graphene, they cannot pull any data whatsoever, right? Especially after you do a reboot. No data whatsoever. They can still pull a little bit of data after you reboot it. Um, and then they can pull a lot more data after you reboot it and unlock it, right? So that's why it's imperative. If I'm traveling today, especially internationally, I'm traveling with a graphene OS phone. No question about it, right? Chances are they're not going to bother you. But if they do, you know they've been searching social media 